What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for all the Google goodness that we can pack inside of a show. And this week, it's all about what we're expecting and maybe hoping to see at Google I.O. this week. It's the Goog's big keynote that's really a launch pad for their latest OS and new platforms. This year at I.O. Wearables is about to get a big boost with Google's Android Wear platform that they teased in March. CNET sources say Samsung plans to introduce its first Android Wear device at Google's developer conference that will be similar to their Gear Watch, this time running the Big G's platform. LG will also announce their long-rumored and teased watch, and sources say Motorola could be doing the same. Now, the Moto 360 is really the only smartwatch that I'm remotely excited for so far because it actually looks like a watch. Come on, just look at that thing. Now, LG and Motorola both claimed earlier in the year that they would be shipping Android watches by the end of 2014, so this timing would be perfect. And I'm just excited to see their idea of how a smartwatch interacts with your phone, the OS design, and the functionality with Google Now that feels like the perfect platform to deliver smartwatch information up to this point. Now, smartwatches aren't the only wearables. Don't forget about Glass. We may not see any major news here, Google held a one-day sale for Glass in the U.S. to regular consumers, and it sold out even with its $1,500 price tag. Now, it just went up on the Play Store in the U.K. recently for 1,000 pounds, and uh, if you want to style it up, the Diane von Furstenberg line of designer frames are now available starting at 1,800. Intended for ladies, but uh, you know guys will buy them. All right, I'm just hoping we'll see some of the amazing ways developers have used Glass up to this point as well. Also, the health and fitness space has gained a lot of buzz with wearables as well. And according to Forbes, Google plans to launch a new health platform at I.O. called Google Fit, allowing consumers to track health-related data through fitness devices and an app. The report also says Google will announce partnerships with third-party device makers that will be able to work with Fit. There's no indication if and when it will be integrated into Google's next Android OS or if it will be a standalone app. Now, Apple and Samsung have both made strong pushes to include health tracking, even if it really hasn't taken off just yet, so it makes sense for Google to get on board. We've also talked about the next Android OS and past shows, and there's no doubt we'll see something here at Google I.O. Reports around Android have been centered on bringing a total redesign with their project called Quantum Paper that's targeting creating a cohesive and comprehensive design for Android across all different devices. We've shown some of the redesigned icons and we're expecting this year to still bring some new features, but really focusing on a fresh new look and feel. And there's still another nut Google is trying to crack, and that's the living room. Multiple reports as far back as April point to a complete facelift and philosophy change for Google TV. It looks to be rebranded Android TV, and it's more about finding entertainment and content quickly instead of trying to create a new TV experience. And it will be more similar to Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon's Fire TV. Now the focus is a new, simple, and clean interface with apps and games. Luring developers shouldn't be too difficult, and screenshots of the concepts show some of the standard names we're used to seeing. Now Google found some success with their super affordable Chromecast stick. That could take content from web pages or your phone apps and display them on your TV. It's not known if the Chromecast will end up taking on this new Android TV look and feel, but we expect to hear all about this at I.O. as well. Also, the smart home is another space that Google has made a commitment to. They acquired Nest Labs this year, and in a deal independent from Google, Nest recently acquired Dropcam, the web-connected home security cameras, for $555 million in cash. Now, what does it all mean? Well, we probably won't see any of this at I.O., but Nest is clearly moving to expand beyond just a thermostat and smoke detector, and is looking to become a real name in the smart home space with home security and video monitoring. And the one hot piece of hardware we want, but shouldn't expect to see at I.O. Android Police reports HTC's Volantis, the next Nexus tablet, is 8.9 inches with a 2048 by 1440 resolution and will have a zero gap all aluminum body. Internally, it's being referred to as the Nexus 9 and it looks to possibly replace the current Nexus 10. Android Police is confident with their intel, including screenshots and internal specs with an NVIDIA Logan 64-bit processor 2 gigs of RAM, 16 to 32 gigs of storage, and an 8 megapixel rear and 3 megapixel front facing camera. It's expected to be a launch device for the next Android operating system that will be something sweet starting with the letter L, but again, we aren't expecting this at Google I.O., but running pure Android, this thing looks sweet. 
So there you have it, tons of stuff to look forward to at Google's developer conference, and you can watch it happen all live right here on CNET with our live coverage starting at 8 a.m. Pacific time, and we'll be taking live calls, live tweets, and myself and the gang will see you all there. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Email us at googlelicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for some more of that Googlelicious. Googlelicious.